Welcome back to Pebble Opinion. Uh, today we are doing Big Brother Villains. And I'm talking about Big Brother Africa, Mzanzi, and Niger. So I have a few housemates here, ex-housemates, who were quite, um, what, troublesome in the house. Like they were, like nobody could tell them nothing. Like they dealt with everybody accordingly. Like you couldn't stand in their way and tell them nothing. They were like bullies. They were just like, you know, like nobody could tell them nothing, you know. Uh, but they were quite entertaining to watch, you know. They couldn't be contained. They were scared of nobody. They had the most fights in the house and this is why they made today's list of Big Brother villains. So we're gonna start off today's list with Lerato. Lerato was a housemate on Big Brother Africa to the second season of Big Brother Africa. And Lerato is from South Africa. Lerato was a villain in the house, guys. Lerato was a bully. I remember in the house there were like two groups, you know. The house got divided into two groups. And the other group had Botatiana, Richard, Ofuneka, and the other group had Lerato and uh, her ex-boyfriend uh, Max from Zambia, I think, and some other guys. Now that group was a problem because they wanted to like rule the house, you know, and Lerato was sort of like the head, uh, head bitch of that group, you know, <laughs> and she knew it, you know, and she wasn't even trying to hide it, you know, like there were times where she'd even tell the other guys where not to sit because it's the spot and stuff like that, you know, uh, but it was quite an entertaining season, but Lerato came back um, another time for Big Brother All Stars and she was quite changed, she was chilled like in the first season when she came for the first season of Big Brother Africa which was the second season um, she was quite a bully like I said but then when she came back for Big Brother All Stars she was chilled, you know she was compassionate she even got along with Tatiana and uh, when they met for the first time on the second season they didn't get along at all but you know she had grown uh, when she came back for Big Brother All Stars and you know, it was quite refreshing to see i must say so moving on to the next villain this is lexi and lexi was on big brother mzanzi the first season of big brother mzanzi lexi was in a relationship with manda and lexi didn't take no shit from nobody like i'm telling you lexi fought with mzamo uh fought with cat fought with almost everybody in the house but most of the times uh, lexi fought with her boyfriend manda like it was she it's like she was sent to that house to just deal with manda like she said so many hurtful things to him and other housemates, but Manda sticked, you know, by her side, you know, he still loved her, he didn't let her go, and even now they're still together, you remember the last time I covered them, they're still together, they have a child together, but Lexi was a villain, guys, like, she was scared of nobody in the house, you know, I remember the last time I told you guys that she reminds me of Tasha, she reminds me of Tasha from Brother Niger as well as Cece, you know, and they're still coming up on the list, you know, so if... If um, Lexi is on this list, then you can be sure that uh, Tasha and Sissy are also on the list coming up. And here we see Lexi enjoying 4th Street, something we can't do right now in South Africa, but it's okay. We live. It's okay. It's fine. And yeah, man, that was Lexi from Big Brother Mzanti and her boyfriend Manja won that season, you know, so that was amazing to see. And next on the list, we have Sissy. Now, Sissy was on Big Brother Naija. And it was, was it C Gobi? No, Double Wahala. Yo, I'm not sure now. But uh, CC was on Big Brother Niger. And yeah, man, she was feisty. She was quite out there. Uh, CC also just like, just like uh, Lexi, the one that I just showed you from Big Brother Mzansi. Uh, CC also fought most of the time with her on and off boyfriend, Toby. And uh, she also fought a lot with Alex. I'll show you a clip now of her fighting with Alex. You know, like she fought with almost everyone in the house. Do you see that uh, for all these people, like what I'm saying about most of them is that they fought a lot in the house. Like they didn't care about anybody. Like they had like, I, I don't know. I don't know if I should say they had like short tempers or something, but maybe being in the house is quite stressful, you know, especially if you are already like on edge, you know? So most of these people were just like, they didn't care about anybody, they had no regard for nobody's feelings and they would just step on you and they don't care how you feel. So I'm going to play a clip of Cece having a fight with Alex. Get out! 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 So yeah, this is Cece, the one with the big hair. That's Cece and that girl she's fighting with is Alex and this is taken from Big Brother Niger. The look on 
her face, she's just like, do you understand? Like, she's ready, like, she's ready to just tear Alex apart, you know? But Alex was also not just, like, taking, she's just, like, you know, giving it back to Cece, you know? <laughs> These two are quite entertaining. <laughs> Okay, uh, that was a clip between uh, CC and Alex having one of the many fights. Like, like I said, CC, that was just like a drop in the ocean. She fought with everyone in the house, especially her boyfriend, her then boyfriend, Toby. So, uh, moving on next, uh, this is Tasha from Big Brother Niger 2019, Big Brother Niger Pepper Dem. Uh, Tasha, as you all know, got disqualified for getting involved in a fight a physical fight well it wasn't that physical like i felt like it was a bit over exaggerated but that's just my opinion you know so tasha uh fought with most of most of the time in the house she fought with fraud she fought with mike and like i said i think uh her and mike had some, some sort of like chemistry that then turned into a hate because they couldn't do anything because mike was married and tasha wasn't looking for a boyfriend but i think they had something there but then that something turned into hate but it's okay and she also fought with oh mashallah they even some producer from Nigeria, a music producer from Nigeria, even made a track out of their fight with Omar Shola. You know, Tasha fought with everyone in the house. The only person she didn't fight with was Big Brother. You know, she was always chilled in the diary room for some reason. But in the house, she was like a bad bitch, like, do not mess with me. I will deal with you accordingly. Uh, and then I remember there was a fight between uh, Tasha and Joe. Joe was a housemate also on uh, Big Brother Niger Pepper Dem. But he was introduced at a later stage in the game, like a few weeks after everyone had been in the house. This is Joe. I remember that Tasha and Joe had a fight in the house. Joe is another villain who also, that's why he made this list. He was a villain and I feel like he was misunderstood by most of the viewers because, uh, like I said, viewers can get a little in insensitive. I mean, a little too sensitive, actually. Too sensitive and they just like, they don't understand people who are like, you know, edgy like uh, this guy had like a dark humor like he was just like dark you know but he was interesting to watch but i think he was in the house for only like two weeks or a week like he didn't stay for that long you know because even the housemates failed to like understand his character you know because he was like edgy like i said like he he didn't care you know he, he wasn't scared of nobody you know for somebody who came later later on in the game he wasn't like groveling or like you know trying to be in anybody's good books he was just doing his own thing and he didn't care and i remember there was a time that uh, he and tasha got into a little fight you could see that she, he was trying to get under tasha's skin i'll play the clip now and you know you could see that he was just like i want to see how far i can push this tasha person and he did just that he pushed her you're very, very stupid you're very be creative you're very stupid you are very Okay, so that's Joe and this is Tasha and they both made the list of Big Brother villains on today's list. So uh, you'll see why they made the list. This was uh, one of their fights. Oh, I think this was their only fight. But after this, there was like no love lost between them. Because as you can see, Tasha is like actually really pissed off. And you can see that Joe was trying to get under his skin and just provoke her. <laughs> Just listen to that evil laugh. Like, that's a laugh that says, I want to see how far I can push you because I know that people in the house are sort of like scared of you. Like, people in the house were like, you know, sort of like scared with Tasha. They knew not to mess with her. So, Joe was like, I'm actually going to mess with her and see how far I get with it. And, yeah, man. <laughs> Answer me now. You're not ignoring me. I'm calling your name. Uh... This guy actually got up from where he was seated and went to sit next to Tasha so he can provoke her some more. Just imagine. That's Joe. He also made the list of today's villains. The next villain that we're going to be focusing on is Keegan. And Keegan was from South Africa. He was on Big Brother Africa Star Game and he won that season. Now, Keegan 
who are sort of like a terrorist to the house. I remember when they first got into the house, him and Lee, like a lot of people didn't understand him. The people in the house and the viewers, you know, and because they felt like he was a terrorist, also because of his accent, like his heavy Cape Town colored accent, people were just like, who's this guy? He's like a terrorist because of his behavior and the way he spoke. You know, they were just like, is he Osama Bin Laden's cousin or something because of the accent and his terrorism behavior? <laughs> it was quite funny, you know, but viewers went from not understanding him to actually voting him to win the season you know that's how dope he was and i remember that most of the times he fought with junior from junior was from uh, namibia and this guy liked to taunt junior a lot and he also had most fights with prezo oh my god do you guys remember the fights between prezo and keegan like prezo was like threatened by keegan to a point where like he's just like i remember a fight they had was this is prezo was from kenya they were also, uh, they were on Big Brother at the same time, the same season of Big Brother Africa Star Game. So Prezo was from Kenya, and Prezo couldn't stand Keegan. They couldn't stand each other, and they fought a lot. There was a time they had a fight, and Prezo was just like, he wants to put uh, Keegan in his place. Keegan is like, and where's that place, bruh? Where's that place, bruh? <laughs> and Prezo was so frustrated, man. And um, in the end, like I said, uh, Keegan won that season and Prezo was the runner-up, you know, that's how entertaining they were. And, you know, those were the good, good old days when Big Brother um, viewers were not sensitive, unlike today. But it's okay. We're moving on to the next villain on the list, and this is Nando. Nando was from Tanzania. He was on Big Brother Africa. Nando got disqualified because there was a time when Nando went to the party uh, with a knife in his pocket. Uh, there was a time when Nando used to sleep with a scissor, a pair of scissors under his um, pillow. And then uh, Nando finally got disqualified for uh, getting into a fight with Eli Kim. Eli Kim was from Ghana. And then Nando got into a fight with Eli Kim. And he threatened to stab Eli Kim and said that Eli Kim deserves to die. And Nando got disqualified for that. People were just like, whoa, Nando, death. Now you are too hectic, Nando. You have to go home. So he was sent packing back to Tanzania. Next on the list, uh, the next villain is Triple T. Tintal Tony. Tintal Tony uh, made the list because he got into the house on Big Brother Africa, no, Big Brother Niger. And he got into the house as a married guy, but decided to just keep quiet about it. And he didn't tell nobody that he was married. And to make matters worse, he got into a relationship with Bisola. You remember I talked about them the other day on Our Real Husbands of Big Brother. You can check out that uh, episode if you haven't seen it. And yeah, man, Tintal Tony got into the house as a married man, but got into a relationship with Bisola. And that's what, that was just like, you know, badass. I was just like, what? This guy, he's like a villain of note. So that's why he made today's list right here on Pebble Opinion with me. Pebble O. So uh, the next guy that we're jumping on to is Luke Clay. Luke Clay is the last guy that we're going to be focusing on. Luke Clay was on Big Brother Africa. And Luke Clay is from South Africa. Luke Clay was uh, friends with Karen. And together they were just like, you know, a great combination. You know, everybody thought that uh, Luke Clay was going to win that season together with Karen. Because that season had two winners. And it was like so obvious. But in the end, uh, Luke Clay didn't win. Win Dell one i don't know how nobody knows even he doesn't know how he won but it's okay even though it's not okay anyway uh luke clay luke clay was just that guy guys first of all you couldn't gossip with luke clay if you went to luke clay and said yo luke clay so and so said this he look at you like okay are you gossiping about that person and then you say no and then you're like okay if you're not gossiping about them then let's go and tell them that you have a problem with them he was that guy and he was also the king of throwing tantrums and he didn't care who you were how old you were how much money you had how many fans you had he didn't care about that you know he was just that guy and i'm gonna play you a clip of when he was he and a few other housemates were sent uh into the house on big brother hot shots because that season the last season of big brother africa hot shots was very boring viewers were bored we were complaining and so uh they decided to send housemates that were, that were interesting from other seasons they were sent into the house just so they can you know spice up things in the house and luke clay did just that and this is how he dealt with those housemates in the house on big brother africa hot shots each and every one of you that's been gossiping about me. Wow. But I'm not going to point you out. But I, I was even nice to you to tell you that a great person does not react to a small person. You teach them how to be better. Yeah. That's what you do. You don't react. You don't react. So try me tonight. 
while I'm watching you. Let's say that you see the shoe, eh? You don't know. I uh, hear he was complaining about people that kept talking about him in the house and he was just throwing a tantrum. As you can see, they were in the lounge. Everybody's seated, but he's the only guy on his feet with a very, very, very loud voice, you know, uh, throwing a tantrum. Like I said, he was the king of throwing tantrums and this was one of his many tantrums. You try me. I don't care what your profession is, what sport you play, whatever you do, how tight your pussy is. I will deal with you tonight. Oh. Uti and Beo from Big Brother also came into the house to spice up things and Sulu and Natasha, those were the ones that I remember that were sent into the house so that these housemates, like, this is Tayo from Nigeria, he was a housemate during that season of Hot Shots but he didn't win, he was the runner-up and yeah man, so yeah. And the thing about Luke Clay's tantrums where they were funny, like he was trying so hard to be like a badass guy, but people were just like, it was funny, like even though he was actually really angry, but people were just like, guy, come on, chill. Mari, he was actually being serious. Trying to see, trying to think that I can't hear you. I hear everything. I was supposed to leave. I was supposed to go shoot for fucking one week. I left that to be here. Why the fuck did I come here no. to deal with this shit? No, peace, Craig. To deal with this shit? Who the fuck do you think you are? No, peace, Craig. Leave it. You see me talking to Natasha, talking to my chairman, to Tayo. You now you think you know what we are talking about? You don't know nothing. We are talking about the weather. Ah. <laughs> we are talking about the weather. Who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> He's like, you see me talking with Natasha, you see me talking with Nigerian man, and you think you, do, you think you know what we're talking about. No, we are talking about the weather. <laughs> you know nothing. What do you think you are? Oh man, I miss Luke Clay, and I don't think I'll ever get over the fact that he didn't win. And, you know, I kept hoping that when Dell would call Luke Clay and say, Luke Clay, I'm sending you this money because it doesn't belong to me. You are the rightful winner. You know, I was just like, what? How does when Dell win and Luke Clay doesn't win, guys? Luke Clay was an entertainer of note but that's how we come to the end of that list of big brother okay big brother uh villains I, I almost said big brother south africa i don't know why big brother villains that's how we come to the end of that list and i hope that you enjoyed it and like i said man we are just a few days three days away from big brother niger i am very excited i cannot wait and yeah man uh sorry about that uh but i will see you next time thank you so much if you tuned in today and please subscribe please like and comment and i'm pebble oh this is pebble opinion i shall be seeing you next time